and a poor mineral and a poor mineral and a poor minimum. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am actually going to go and do my skincare routine. I've had a lot of questions on this. If any of you guys know, I did go to school to become an esthetician over a year ago, finally graduated. I'm not an esthetician yet. I still have to take my test to be licensed, but I have gone through the schooling. <laughs> Hopefully I pass, I'm still studying you guys. But from then till now, I have learned a ton about skincare and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna go through my entire process. I am showing you guys one thing I was sent that has replaced one of my brushes. Let me show you. This is the Clarisonic Mia, as you guys know. This is very very expensive even with a discount and the brushes alone to replace I think are like $35 for one or something crazy like that so a company Liberex actually reached out to me and sent me this beautiful brush here which is basically this it's just smaller more compact it's waterproof and it does have two brushes that come with it this is actually really nice it is $34 you guys $33.99 and my brush right here I have used this for about two months now and I love it my face is super clean I did have one brush on the end this was the more coarse brush but I realized that I did end up liking the softer brush that it came with it's so soft it's not as coarse or scratchy. This brush tends to be a little bit more scratchy, more exfoliating, and I found that wasn't the best for my really, really dry skin. Now, this does have three speeds. It is a waterproof little egg, and you guys, they sent me this charged from the factory like over two months ago, and it's still charged. This is crazy. It does let you know after about a minute that your facial cleanse is done. It will vibrate in second increments for each section of the face you work on. And it does have three speeds. So you can get a more deeper cleaning. Let's move on to my skincare routine. And I will have this brush linked below and I also have all the other products that I use linked below. So let's start with just the basic makeup removal. So here is a full face of my makeup. So obviously let's take these lashes off cause you know, they're not real. I put, I put, I put fake hair on my eyeballs just to make myself look prettier. <laughs> First thing I do is I use just regular cotton rounds and I remove all of my eye makeup. Just any kind of oil-free eye makeup remover works. And I don't pull down on my skin. I kind of tap it and loosen it up first. I am wearing Huda Beauty, by the way, if anyone's wondering. And it's a very neon pink shade, and it did stain my eyes, but that's okay. For the rest of my face, I'm just going to do a quick pass with a really gentle cleansing makeup remover wipe. And I am just using a cucumber and aloe wipe. Not anything harsh or abrasive because I'm going to leave that to the actual skincare and exfoliating. Well, this is what I look like without bronzer. <laughs> Ew, it's so nasty. This is not a cleanse. This is just removing of like the basic makeup. So I do cleanse twice and because of being in an esthetician school doing facials on people, we do cleanse their skin twice. We do once with a sensitive skin cleanser. The second time we cleanse their skin, after we analyze their skin type, texture, problems that they may be having, we will determine the second type of cleanser to do the second cleanse with. Now this one is gonna be a little bit more deeper because you've already washed off the first layer of you know makeup, some dead skin cells. This one's gonna penetrate a little bit farther, get a little bit 
more clean so this one will determine you know based on everything you're having going on what that one will be so I have dry skin and I have on the sensitive side of skin so I really do like to use more hydrating cleansers and more sensitive cleansers for my skin now sometimes maybe once or twice a week you can use like a glycolic cleanser but green tea is always a safe bet anything with green tea I actually use some that I got in a beauty box recently so I've been using this gentle bubble glam glow cleanser and I do use this twice but for my second cleanser every now and then if I have a glycolic one I will go ahead and use that to get a little bit of a deeper exfoliation I do exfoliate about three times a week and this is what I've been using this is infused with collagen and stem cell it is a deep cleansing exfoliator and a pore minimizer now <laughs> your pores are gonna be the same size if you do get stuff in your pores they will look larger and they will have you know dried oils and dirt and debris in there that can enlarge them so if you get that out and you help tone and tighten your pores they will not shrink completely if you have oily skin or combination skin your pores will look large and there's nothing you can do about that you can help keep them cleaned out so they stay smaller and you can help tone and tighten them with clay masks or products that will help you know tighten and you know shrink pores I do use this charcoal scrub right here and I use this about three times a week because I don't want to damage my skin by over exfoliating so that was a lot of talking it's not even done yet because y'all when we get back I have a whole other system here so I'm sorry but let's put my hair up let's put on a, a jammy shirt and let's go to my bathroom together <laughs> So now the next step in my routine is after I have cleansed, exfoliated, I like to tone. So I just use a toner I got from TJ Maxx. It's just like a rose aloe kind of toner. You want to make sure with toners that they do not have alcohol in them. That is not the kind of toner you want. That's more of an astringent. That's more to like clean out pores, which you can still do. But alcohol is not the best thing for your face, especially like denatured alcohol. I know it's in some things to help with drying it out faster, but it also dries your skin out. Toning your skin, first it helps remove any makeup you may have missed in your first two cleanses, but secondly, it helps restore the pH of your skin. Now your pH is slightly acidic. It is a 5.5. Now cleansing the skin can remove the oil which mixes in with the rest of the components on your skin creating the skin's pH. So that can disrupt the pH of your skin so you just want to restore it back with some toner. And as you can see here, anything I might have missed comes off onto this wipe. It is slightly, there's just a little tiny amount of leftover makeup. So now my skin is nice and clean. I like to spray my face with a kind of hydrating mist here. This does have hyaluronic acid and that really helps to grab on to any moisture in your skin and really kind of plump it up. It does hold 1,000 times its weight in water, hyaluronic acid. So it really helps with fine lines, wrinkles, any dry patches. It will really help for a temporary fix unless you are actually bringing this down into your cells with like a microneedling. 
this will only be a temporary fix, the hyaluronic acid, but I like it right before prepping my skin for makeup. Now at this point, I like to add in serums. And you wanna go from the thinnest consistency to the thickest consistency with your skincare. So I am adding in some vitamin C drops and these really just help lighten the skin, make it more evenly toned. So once this is in, I do like to use a refrigerated jade roller and I like to just push this serum more into my skin. So you always wanna go up and out with this. You don't ever wanna go downwards or inwards. So up and out is the best way to do all skincare. After this, I'm gonna do a quick exfoliation of my lips. And I am just using a ColourPop exfoliator. I actually got this from my best friend, Crystal Ryan. I have an alginist lip collagen thing. I, this is so worn off on the label here, I don't even know what it is anymore. Because I put it on my lips every morning and every night and it just makes them so soft. The ceramic head is just so cold all the time and it just feels so good. <laughs> now I do eye cream and then moisturizer. So this eye cream I also got from TJ Maxx. It's just a collagen anti-wrinkle cream. I'll have everything listed down below. Now for my face, I'm just going in with It Confidence in a cream. I did get this in, I believe it was a Boxy, Boxy Charm, yeah. And this is a wonderful moisturizer and I have dry skin, so I like to make sure that my skin is thoroughly moisturized. That is basically my routine. After this, I will put on primer and then my makeup. But if I'm doing my night routine, I do like to put on a sleeping mask and this is just a rose vitamin C brightening mask. And I remove this when I wash my face again in the morning. That is my skincare routine. I hope you learned a little bit of something and I hope you guys maybe can change up your skincare routine if you haven't been adding in certain things that you should. But that is all I have and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!